And welcome to the second part of Significant Figures. So in this video lesson, we are going to be carrying out approximations using sig figs. So we're going to be using examples and applying this um, in a scenario where you'd have to use it to round. Okay, so let's round this number. We've got 123,567 and we're asked to round this to two significant figures. So let's write this down. I always start off my examples by writing down the number on the paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to underline the two significant figures that we're interested in. So remember, it's the first two non-zero numbers. So in this case, it'll be the one and two right here. What we're going to do is then we're going to look at the third significant figure, which is the three. And we're going to apply our rounding rule. Is it less than five or is it five or higher? Well, we can see that three is less than five. So... Just like when we're rounding decimal places, we're going to leave this one and two the same and we're going to drop these numbers as and uh, convert them to zeros. So basically one, two, three, five, six, seven rounded to two significant figures would be 120,000 like that. Okay, let's try another example. Let's round 687,212 again to two significant figures. So again, I'm going to write this down. And I'm going to underline the first two non-zero numbers, which represent the first two significant figures. I'm going to look at the third significant figure, which is a 7. And I'm going to see that this 7 is greater than 5. So what do I do? Well, I'm going to look at this 8 and I'm going to add 1 to it. And so that becomes a 9. And so 687212 rounded to two significant figures is 690,000. Okay, so another example. Round 1.20204, this time to three significant figures. Okay, so again, I'm going to write the number down. And then I'm going to underline the first three digits, which is the one, the two, and the zero. Because these represent the three significant figures of this number. I'm going to look at this two and I'm going to apply the rule. I see that it's less than five. And so this number rounded to three significant figures is 1.20. Now this zero in this instance is a significant figure because we've been asked specifically to round to three significant figures. And so we have to keep this zero here. Uh, and that's the, the answer, okay. Let's round 0 0.0056801 to one sig fig. All right, so we're going to write this down again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to underline the first significant figure, which is this five here, because remember, these zeros represent the position of the decimal point. And I'm going to look at this six, so the second sig fig, and I'm going to apply yet again the rule. I'm going to go, this six is greater than five, and so I'm going to round that five up to a six. And this is the answer right here. Another example, let's go for this. We're going to go for two significant figures this time. So let's write this number down and let's underline the first two significant figures. So it'll be the one and the nine right here. We're going to look at this five. And again, we're going to say this five is five or higher. And so we have to add one to this 19 here, which would then become 20. And so 195 to 5.36 rounded to two significant figures would be 20,000. All right, 